Hello, ESOL 5. Welcome to week three of marking period four. It is Monday, May 4th, and here is your lesson for the week. We are in my MCPS classroom, and when you go to the home page, you will see here is the week's worth of work for the whole week. I want to remind you up here as a link, we have our Zoom class on Tuesday at 12.45 p.m. Anyone who comes, I will, um, we will go over and do one of the activities together so you can get that finished, and uh, you will get a homework pass on the speaking um, activity. You won't have to do that. You'll get that. You'll get 10 out of 10 on that for coming to the Zoom. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to go over the week three goals and tasks. This week, the text we're reading is called Proposed Treatment to Fix Genetic Diseases Raises Ethical Issues. And this is actually going uh, along with the sci-fi article we read last week a little bit here. The essential questions are, is it ethical to genetically modify humans? What are the costs, the cons, and benefits, pros of genetic, genetically modifying humans? So this is a, a, a debate, an issue whether scientists should change human DNA. So it's going to be kind of interesting what we're doing here. So you're going to listen, you're going to watch a video about the science behind genetically modifying humans, and you're going to take notes on a T-chart. That's 10 points. Then you're going to read the article that I was just talking about, and you're going to continue taking notes on your T-chart, and you're going to turn that in. That's your 10 points there. You're going to do a comprehension quiz for 10 points. You're going to write a summary of the article for 15 points. And at the end, you're going to record, you're going to speak and record a reflection, or you can attend the Zoom session instead and earn 10 points for doing that. Okay, so to get started, the first thing you're going to need is you need a pen or pencil and a piece of paper. We've done this in class before. You're going to fold the paper in half, okay? Draw a line down the middle. At the top, you're going to give it a title. Let me see mine. I'm going to try to put it in front of the camera here. And it's on here. The title is Should Scientists Modify Human DNA? And on one side, on this side, on the left side, you're going to write benefits. And on the right side, you're going to write problems. So it's going to look like the picture on your screen. Okay, after you've done that, take, keep it out with your pen, and you're going to watch the video. And when you watch the video, the video is going to discuss this process of changing, modifying human embryos, um, fertilized eggs, um, and and it's going to discuss the benefits and the problems of this process. You can take notes, you can pause the video, and you're going to take notes on what are the benefits of modifying human DNA or in embryos, or what are the problems associated with doing this. Okay, what are the benefits and what are the problems? Okay, after you've done that, you we're going to see, you're going to keep your T-chart out because you're going to read this article. Um, when you read the article, you can click on the immersive reader here to have it read to you, this button up here, or you can read on your own. And as you read, this article is about genetic scientists have developed a technique that makes it possible for families to remove unwanted DNA from an embryo. This process, however, raises ethical issues, and some scientists fear that the potential problems outweigh the potential benefits. So what's, are there more benefits or more problems, okay? So as you read, you're going to take notes on your chart about the benefits and problems of scientists modifying human DNA. Okay, here's some vocab for you. It's going to remind you, all of you who've taken biology, what DNA is, um, and that it is a short for um, dexyribo, I'm going to say dexyribonucleic acid. It and is the molecule that contains, contains the genetic code of organisms. Okay, it is um, how we get our traits, like our eye color, hair color, skin color, things like that, height. Okay, an embryo is an unborn animal or human be being in the very early stages of development. And the word ethical means relating to beliefs about right and wrong, whether it's right or wrong. So, 
Um, you're going to read this article, and as you're reading, you don't have to answer these questions. They're just there. These yellow questions are there to help you think about um, if you're understanding the article. You want to read the question. If you don't understand the question or you don't know the answer, you can go back and look and see if you can find it. And as you're reading, you're taking notes on um, costs, benefits, I'm sorry, benefits and problems. So the pros and cons of this scientific process. Okay. After the article, you're going to do a quick check for understanding. This is just practice. It's not, I mean, it's a 10 point grade, but it's not a formative grade. It's for completion, but just check to see, um, and you're going to get to see the answers, um, you know, afterwards to see how you did. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to use your T-chart. See, this T-chart is very important to write a, a two paragraph essay. You are going to you just finish reading the article. Um, now you're going to watch another video. So you have the warm up video, the article, and a second video. And this video is called The Science Behind Genetically Modified Humans. Pay close attention to the scientific process of genetically modifying embryo, embryos and the ethical concerns this process raises. And you can add to your T chart. So if you see more problems, more benefits, and more problems, add them here. Then you're going to Use your T-chart to complete a two-paragraph summary essay. You are not doing, it is not an opinion. You're not saying whether you agree with this process or you don't agree with this process. That's, it's not an opinion, it's a summary, un resumen. A summary is when you um, take the information and you put it in your own, where you explain it, um, more succinctly, more concisely, and in your own words, okay? So we've given you um, some sentence starters here and some ideas to get you started. Paragraph one is going to introduce the topic and you're going to state the pros, which means what are the benefits to the process. So we gave you um, some, uh, some sentence frames here to get you started. Paragraph two is going to tell the other side, like what are the cons or the problems um, that this scientific process um, causes, okay? So we gave you sentence frames here. You can um, fill in, and then when it has the dot, dot, dot here, it's telling you to add more examples. Don't just give one benefit and one problem. Make sure you're using several from your um, T-chart. Okay. Finally, the last thing is the speaking reflection. Now that you have you know, watch the two videos and read the article, you can answer whether or not you, um, your opinion after reading all this has changed on genetically modifying humans and what some of the costs and benefits are. Again, if you come to the Zoom class, you do not have to do the speaking. You'll just get credit um, by coming to the Zoom class on Tuesday at 1245. So um, if you have any questions, email me again. Please come to Zoom on Tuesday. And that's it. I hope you're having a great week. Bye.